Come, Radhika. Thank you, Brijesh. Thank you for having me. I see you've got lots of people here right after Diwali. Quite excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know a lot of people have heard you in the past, and they are always willing to hear from you. And you are so inspiring, and uh, you are always encouraging. And I think today we are going to have a good time. Uh, so, friends, uh, may I request all of you to please welcome Radhika on the chat box. Uh, let us let us show her some. Yeah, hello, ma'am. You know, you are the, as you call the wonder woman of the industry. And. And now I'm addressing my favorite audience, which is MFDs. Audience, अपनी audience होती है ना? अपनी audience, अपनी audience होती है, correct? है ना? अपनी audience, अपनी होती है. अपनी audience, अपनी audience होती है. So let me do some justice uh, to our uh, uh, privileged guest today. Let me uh, uh, give you an introduction to uh, Radhika to all our audience and. Uh, Uh, Radhika Gupta is an investment professional with a range of diverse experiences across asset management globally and in India which includes startup and global giants public and private sector and institutional and retail clients she started her career with McKinsey later switched to Wall Street joining AQR Capital pioneers in hedge funds then she moved to India in 2009 to start her own venture forefront capital management the first registered hedge fund in India which was acquired by edelweiss financial services limited in 2014 in flat 5 years that's very very uh, interesting see led edelweiss acquisition of jp morgan's mutual fund business and ambit capital's aif business to become the ceo of edelweiss asset management in 2017 and since then her efforts are concentrated in helping build brand edelweiss amc into a fast growing differentiated and innovative asset manager The recent launch of Bharat Bond ETF in partnership with Government of India, India's first corporate bond ETF, is yet another step in that direction. Radhika is a global citizen, having grown up in uh, across four continents. Uh, keen storyteller, bridge player—that's interesting—and Twitter microblogger. And I do follow uh, Radhika on the Twitter, and it's quite interesting. And I am also on the Facebook, and I keep watching your pictures, and they are quite, uh, you know, uh, differentiated. I would say. <laughs> Uh, very nice. Okay, her YouTube video, "The Girl with a Broken Neck," which narrates her life journey, has garnered more than hundred thousand views in a short span of time. Radhika has graduated from MIT program from University of uh, uh, Pennsylvania with joint degrees in economics uh, from the Wharton School, in addition to computer science engineering from the Moore, Moore School, uh, and in, and is the founding president. of the pen alumni club of mumbai she is a member of amphi board chairing the committee of mutual fund distribution and a member of young presidents organization ypo she was recently honored by business today magazine as the 30 most powerful women in indian business as well as uh, fortune which uh, rated her as the top 50 uh, most powerful women in indian business so welcome radhika once again uh, yahan log ek degree lene mein pareshan ho jate hain aapke paas itni degrees hain you know <laughs> <laughs> हमसे कोई पूछता है आपने कहा से पढ़ाई की थी तो हमें याद करना पड़ता है बट यू एंड मेनी ऑफ अस इन द एमएफडी फ्रेटर्निटी एंड हियर इज राधिका गुप्ता सी ऑफ एडल वाइस सो राधिका माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू एंड लेट मी बिगिन विद दिस यू आर अमंग द यंगेस्ट सीईओ इन द एएमसी इंडस्ट्री हाउ डज इट फील एंड हाउ डिड यू डू इट व्हाट इज योर सीक्रेट सॉस Uh, so you know firstly uh, hi brijesh thank you so much for having me uh, i you know you said some wonderful things about me but uh, i was just watching all the mfd comments and firstly guys thank you for the welcome bahut bahut shukriya wish you all a very happy diwali uh, as i said there's no audience like apna audience or apne i mean i speak to hundreds of audiences now but there's no audience like a group of mfds and sort of the love and affection and someone's writing she's active on linkedin and someone knows this and someone knows that so there's no audience like our own audience but rajesh ye log ye bhi keh rahe the ki iska magic is also the power of master stroke so master stroke to you so uh, master stroke is no less popular very honest answer to this question main thoda sa apne log hai na to thoda hindi english dono mein bol lo ha ha bilkul ha main aapko thoda sachchai se jawab सो मैं आपको थोड़ा सा सच्चाई से जवाब दूंगी सो पीपल ऑलवेज आस्क मी दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टफ के यू नो यू आर यंग सीईओ और आपको कभी लगा था कि आप ऐसे कर पाएंगे एंड ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टफ 
and then they expect me to give an answer jaise wo miss india ka answer hota hai na like i can't believe mere sath ye hua hai and all that kind of stuff uh, and i'm not going to give you that answer uh, because i think the problem is in our country women are in any case not taught to be very ambitious i think since i've been a little kid i wanted to do something i mean i wanted to be a class topper i have taken joy and achievement ab lekin mujhe ye nahi pata tha ki main india mein aake mutual fund bechungi ye mujhe shayad kabhi pata nahi tha but the fact that uh, you know you wanted to lead an institution that you wanted to be at the top of your profession i think these things were always there as a kid so i don't want to give the miss india answer ki maine ye kabhi life mein expect nahi kiya tha maine kabhi kaam nahi kiya tha because i also think most things in life and i tell younger kids this also are the series of plans right and if agar aap yahan ka sapna dekho if you aim for the stars then i do think you will get halfway there and i think all of us need to be very very ambitious about our lives our careers our businesses i keep telling mfd is also ke agar aap sapna dekhoge ki 1000 crore ka business hai to shayad 500 crore ka ho jayega if you think ki main cricketer banunga to मुझे तेंदुलकर बनना चाहिए ना नो बडी ग्रोज अप इन सेल्स जब मैं क्रिकेटर बनूंगा ना तो मैं सिटी लेवल टीम के लिए खेलूंगा यू ऑलवेज अस्पायर टू बी तेंदुलकर सो आई रिमेंबर थ्री फोर इयर्स अगो व्हेन आई वाज टॉकिंग आई वाज नॉट द फर्स्ट चॉइस फॉर द जॉब एट एल्डो एज बिकॉज़ ऑफ माय एज आई वाज रियली यंग अम सो दे आस्क्ड मी कि यू नो व्हाई डू यू वांट टू डू दिस रोल बिकॉज़ आई कम फ्रॉम एन इंस्टीट्यूशनल बैकग्राउंड मैं बाहर रही हूं एक्चुअली सो वन ऑफ माय बॉसेस एंड आई कीप मेकिंग फन ऑफ हिम ही लाइक आई कैन नेवर इमेजिन कि तुम साड़ी पहन के म्यूचुअल फंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स के साथ कभी बात कर पाओगी तो अभी मैं ऐसे सेशन करती हूं तो उनका बहुत मजाक उड़ाती हूं तो ही सेड टेक अ पीस ऑफ पेपर एंड राइट डाउन योर एस्पिरेशंस तो ऐसा कोई पीस ऑफ पेपर था एंड ही टुक मी टू द किचन एंड ही सेड राइट डाउन एंड आई सेड यू नो आई वाज 32 देन आई सेड मुझे बैंक चलाना है मेरी तो ये कामना है कि मुझे बैंक चलाना है I was talking to the CEO of an NBFC, telling him, "Mujhe to bank chalana hai. Yeh meri aspiration hai." And I said, "I want to know retail, and I want to do all this." So I think it's also important to be very ambitious and to set very high benchmarks for yourself. Interesting. So you know, I didn't think about asking this question, but I will add on this question to you. Uh, when you say you are already the CEO of Edelweiss, and we <laughs> hope you will stay here, but at the same time. you are uh, since you said uh, you were quite young and you are um, you know in your 30s still long way to go so what is your eventual goal in life where do you see okay. yourself uh so to run a bank no, I think, no it's not to run a bank anymore uh you know at some point it was to and i think you know umide aashay goals aspirations ye bhi waqt ke saath badalte rehte hain jaise जब मैंने ग्रेजुएट किया था तो मैं बहुत मिडिल क्लास फैमिली से आती हूँ तो उम्मीद ये थी कि अच्छी कंपनी के साथ काम करेंगे यू नो यू मेक मनी एंड आई रिमेंबर व्हेन आई ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम मिकिनजी आई वाज 22 एंड मिकिनजी यूज्ड टू पे बिजनेस क्लास एंड ऑल दीज फाइव स्टार होटल तो उसमें बहुत एक्साइटमेंट मिलती थी आई मीन दैट वाज द हाई ऑफ माय लाइफ कि मैं 22 साल की लड़की हूं यार आई एम डूइंग ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टफ ऑब्वियसली दैट चेंजेस एंड इवेंचुअली यू नो डूइंग बिजनेस एंड क्लाइंट्स एंड टीम दैट आई नाउ आई थिंक you know so i'm 37 right now i don't have to lie about this um and i love this industry i think i've just started i'm really the i keep telling my ceo friends i'm the baby of this industry but at some point i do want to do something in government that's that's the aspiration i don't want to make a statement ki main politician banna chahti hu or i want to do something in policy like i mean my dream job is to go work at sebi mujhe marna mat aap log mfd log ho mujhe marna mat but i do want to do something i, I my father uh, served the government uh, all his career to mere liye kuch kaam na hai ke शायद पॉलिसी में या रेगुलेटर के साथ या गवर्नमेंट में कुछ करेंगे उम्मीद तो यही है अब आशा वहां रखिए वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस एंड आई विल रिक्वेस्ट ऑल माय एमएफडी फ्रेंड्स टू डू आस्क क्वेश्चंस ऑन द क्यू एंड ए बॉक्स आई ऑलरेडी हैव अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस देयर एंड आई विल आस्क आफ्टर माय सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर ओवर एंड आई विल पिक अप सम ऑफ योर क्वेश्चंस सो प्लीज डू कैरी ऑन विद योर क्वेश्चंस राधिका यू आर द सीईओ ऑफ एडवाइज दैट इज ऑल राइट but all ceos are not praised like you whenever i meet people uh, in edelweiss and i have a lot of good friends at edelweiss one of my clients daughter is working with edelweiss group and we keep chatting discussing here and there and your name keeps popping up with great respect and and and, and a good leader how can mm. we become good leaders in life what do you do differently I think one of these things is, you know, Rajesh, leadership कोई ऐसी चीज नहीं है जो आप किसी MBA school में सीख सकते हो 
एंड आई थिंक यू नो वन ऑफ माई मेंटर्स टोल्ड मी की एक पीस टाइम लीडर होता है और एक वॉर टाइम लीडर हूँ तो मैं तो नई लीड नई नई लीडर हूँ इनफैक्ट मैं तीन साल से ये काम कर रही हूँ साढ़े तीन साल से उससे पहले मैंने कभी लोग ही नहीं मैनेज किए थे इन माई स्टार्टअप फॉर फ्रंट कैपिटल मेरी टीम सात लोगों की थी तो मैंने लोग ही नहीं मैनेज किए थे एंड यू विल नॉट बिलीव दिस ब्रिटिश आई वॉज केयर ऑफ स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ कैमरा मुझे लगता था माइक मेरा दुश्मन है एंड यू नो आई कैन टेल यू अबाउट द रेस्ट ऑफ द जर्नी तो आई थिंक लीडरशिप इज समथिंग जो आप सीखते रहते हैं मेरी दो स्ट्रैटेजी मुझे दो तीन चीजें मैंने सीखी हैं एक तो जब मैं नई नई आई थी म्यूचुअल फंड इंडस्ट्री में तो वन ऑफ माई बिग चैलेंजेस इज बिकॉज ऑफ माई एज एवरीबडी इज मोर इज ओल्डर देन मी एंड ऑब्वियसली मच मोर एक्सपीरियंस देन मी एंड आई थिंक यू हैव टू फाइंड अ वे टू मेक पीपल कंफर्टेबल विद डैट स्पेशली इन अ कंट्री लाइक इंडिया तो मेरे एक बॉस ने मुझे एक बहुत अच्छी चीज कही थी कि यू नो जब आप लीडर होते हो तो आप कॉन्फ्रेंस रूम में मीटिंग जाते हो एंड यू फील दिस नीड टू एड वैल्यू इन लाइफ कि मैं ना बॉस हूँ मैं जाके आई एम गॉन्ट टू मेक सम बिग स्टेटमेंट्स एंड आई एम गॉन्ट टू बी टफ इज इट ना चुप रहो जस्ट सिट इन द मीटिंग्स एंड लर्न आस्क अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन छह महीने ना कुछ वैल्यू एड करने की कोशिश मत करो ग्रेजुअली पीपल विल रियलाइज कि आप क्या वैल्यू एड करते हो सो आई थिंक दैट इज वन थिंग दैट इज really helped me and i mean it's nice the team says nice things about me i'm sure they get upset at me a few days um my second thing i have learned is ki leadership ki jo definition hai aajkal ki millennial because the interesting thing is ki ceo ki life mein aap bahut alag alag logon ko manage karte ho aap investment fund managers ko manage karte ho jo ki 50 saal ke ho sakte hain i mean significantly older aap marketing ke logon ko manage karte ho jo bahut creative hai aap sales wale logon ko manage karte ho jinse aap log bahut achhi tarah waqif hain so there are different kind of people I think you have to be very honest. So, CEO वो नहीं होता जो कि corner office में बैठ के ज्ञान बांटता है. CEO is someone who is out there with the team. And I think if you are struggling with a problem, ना आपने team को खुल के बताओ. If you are having a bad day, तो बता दो लोगों को. ये leadership का ये मतलब नहीं है कि अपने पंधों पे ना आप सारी जिम्मेदारी लो. I think that is one thing that we have to kick out. Leaders are honest, vulnerable, authentic. I think a lot of people when they saw broken neck in my team. probably saw me very differently because they saw me as a human being first and a ceo later you know otherwise people have this impression of the ceo designation ke pata nahi kon hai and i think that is definitely helped me a lot i mean i'm blessed with a very very good team but i think that is really helped me a lot these two pieces of advice have definitely helped me and i have made a lot of mistakes the last thing i do is i try to observe a lot of people so you know i try to pick up nice things from leaders i know some leaders are very good at handling people issues some leaders are very good at strategic things some leaders are very good at negotiation to main har aadmi mein dekhti rehti hu iski kya quality hai jo mujhe kuch sikhna hai isse wonderful wonderful radhika yahan ek mutual fund distributor business shuru karne ke 5 saal ke baad mein uska aim hota hai 10 crore 20 crore he or she struggles hmm. to start her own business and uh, reaches a particular point in 5 years where uh, they are doing okay you hmm. started a hedge fund brought it to a level with seven people team in at such a level and you sold it off to edelweiss at a rich premium can you tell us how it all happened for and and, so, and probably this will motivate our mfd friends that think big As you said in your first opening statement, that if you think so much, that thousand crore का सोचो तो पांच सौ करोड़ तो हो ही जाएगा। हो ही जाएगा। So you have hedge fund चालू किया पांच साल में बड़ा बना के बेच दिया। So MFD पांच साल में अपने business को कितना बड़ा बना सकता है? नहीं, actually ये बहुत अच्छा सवाल आपने पूछा है। And I don't think you know आपकी आशा पांच सौ करोड़ की होनी चाहिए, लेकिन planning पांच सौ करोड़ की नहीं होनी चाहि� तो एक्चुअली आई वॉज एन इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोफेशनल आई एम नॉट अ सेल्स प्रोफेशनल मैंने लाइफ में कभी सेल्स नहीं की और मेरे जो दो और पार्टनर्स थे उन्होंने भी नहीं की तो अब तीन लोग थे देन वी रियलाइज की जो ए एम जी बिजनेस है उसमें इन्वेस्टमेंट्स के अलावा भी बहुत काम होता है मार्केटिंग भी होता है सेल्स भी होता है वी लर्न की सभी भी कोई चीज होता है उसके साथ भी मैनेज करना होता है तो इन लड़कों ने कहा ये बाकी सारे काम तुम करो और हम लोग इन्वेस्टमेंट मैनेजमेंट कर लेंगे तो आई लिटरली आई डेंट इवन नो बाय द वे क्योंकि मैं एक इंस्टीट्यूशनल बैकग्राउंड से आती थी आप लोग हंसेंगे कि एम क्या होता है या प्राइवेट बैंक क्या होता है मुझे पता भी नहीं था कि डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर लोग होते हैं मैंने तो सोचा डायरेक्ट क्लाइंट से आप जाओ और बात करो एंड देन यू रियलाइज कि ऐसे तो होता नहीं है तो सब ग्राउंड अब से सीखा है तो पहला जो पहले जो क्लाइंट्स हैं वो एज आई सेट देवर फ्रेंड्स फैमिली एंड फूल्स आई मीन फैमिली फ्रेंड्स एवरी उससे जाके हमने शुरुआत की 
और ऐसे करते करते पहले छह महीने में वी अक्यूमुलेटेड वन एंड हाफ टू करोड़ ऑफ यू एम बिच वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट पी एम एस मिनिमम उस टाइम पच्चीस लाख था देन वी रियलाइज कि ये फ्रेंड्स और फैमिली तो खत्म खत्म हो रहे हैं अभी एक्चुअल जेनुअन क्लाइंट्स चाहिए देन रामदेव अग्रवाल एक्चुअली गेव मी दिस एडवाइज आई मेट रामदेव अग्रवाल एंड ही सेट कि यार इंडिया में ना एंड आई आई वेरी थैंकफुल टू हिम जो दिखता है वो बिकता है विच आई लर्न लेटर इन दी एम एफ इंडस्ट्री ही सेट यू हैव टू मेक द ब्रांड एंड नेम विजिबल सो आई एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड राइटिंग आर्टिकल्स आई लाइक टू राइट आई स्टार्टेड ही सेट तुम अच्छा बोलती हो ये जो सारे टीवी चैनल्स है ना इस पर थोड़ा जाके अपना ब्रांड बनाओ बेसिकली द पॉइंट ही वॉज सेंग इज बिल्ड अ ब्रांड अराउंड योर सेल्फ मेक योर सेल्फ विजिबल सो दैट पीपल नो हु दीज ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड किड्स आर बिलीव इट और नॉट मैं लिंक इन समन सेट आई यूज लिंक इन मैं लिंक इन पर जाके जर्नलिस्ट को मैसेज लिखती थी मैं आपके टीवी शो में आ सकती हूँ अब पी आर एजेंसी वगैरह तो पता नहीं होता था एंड दैट्स था and there's a really interesting story i wrote this on twitter in march 2010 one guy in thane actually read one of my articles on money control and he came from thane called all into our office and he gave us 2 crores on the spot not in mfd form but with an advisory check he actually gave us a check for the whole year that's how we got our first external client he was a client for 10 years unfortunately he just passed away aur aise aise karke business badha fir Kotak Wealth was kind enough to take us on as our first distributor. So, 10 crore unse mile. So, वो धीरे-धीरे, धीरे-धीरे करते-करते ऐसे बढ़ा गया. Very nice, very nice. So, Radhika, Edelweiss AMC is one of the fastest growing AMCs now in its own space. And uh, while Edelweiss is a big organization, but uh, AMC business was not so big before you joined, and now you are growing leaps and bounds in your method. what did you do differently and uh, how what message mfds can draw from you and how intimidating it was for you to work in an industry which has uh, uh, a few top players uh, taking 70 80% of the market sh- share and then you enter and you are kind of uh, uh, getting into uh, the top 10 space in the amc industry uh, can you tell us more on this Yeah, so it's interesting. So I think it was AMC business pe focus nahi tha bahut time se and then you know uh, I think I came on board or JP Morgan humne tabhi kharida tha so it was kind of chaotic and main bhi nahi nahi thi to mujhe bhi actually zyada kuch pata nahi tha I was just trying to find my bearings. I think there are two parts. So ab main bahut sach kahungi ki main apne logon I think you know we have a little bit of casteism in our industry of this big AMC and small AMC and I became very cognizant of it later. In fact I joined on Feb first, uh, Vijay. And sixth Feb, co I had a din, I had a lunch in Delhi. So my team, me, took me there. So lunch with some MFDs. And one MFD, I won't take his name, and I really thank him for this. He said, "Did you hear good news or bad news? I said, "Both." He said, "Good news is that you are with us and it's bad for you. Because things are like there is nothing right now that you have inherited. But it's bad for you that you are with us and it's bad for you that you are with us and it's bad for you that you are with us and it's bad for you that you are लॉट ऑफ दिस classism based on rank so i used to get very very intimidated by it to be frank for the first one year so i was really terrified by it then i realized that you know if you start getting intimidated by this then to you are done because then to aap 36 se 40 pe hi jaoge in your head and i keep telling my team you have to think like number one it's back to my sachin tendulkar and ranji trophy example see in your head you have to think like you are going to compete with the best so if you are running a bath you have to compete with the best in the market if you are redesigning a website you have to look at who is the best in the market and compete with that and that's what i also tell my mfd friends that if you are building a business you don't think i am sitting in some small town in india to mai chote level ka kaam karunga you have to compete with the best advisory business in the country that is how you have to think and that's what we started to do so we had this framework in advise mc called clean up catch up win पहले साल तो हम क्लीन अप में लगे रहेंगे वी विल जस्ट गेट आर वी डेंट हैव अ फैक्ट शीट व्हेन आई टुक ओवर सो वी विल गेट आर फैक्ट शीट राइट वी विल हैव अ फंक्शनल वेबसाइट वी हैड आई थिंक 410 ब्रोकरेज स्ट्रक्चर्स व्हिच 
Deepak Jain kindly came and cleaned up. So it was sheer clean up. We will clean our funds. Then जो इतने सालों से हमने नहीं किया और और लोगों ने किया है दो तीन साल तक हमारा कैच अप फेज चला आई थिंक वी जस्ट स्टार्टेड द विनिंग फेज fantastic fantastic and i really appreciate and a lot of our members and uh, viewers will be appreciated by your honest uh, approach in uh, telling what you actually went through over the last 4 years and we actually hum sabke sath aisa hi hota hai shuruaat kafi choti hoti hai aur uske baad cheeze grow hoti hai aur achanak se hockey stick ban jati hai i think uh, adelweiss is at the cusp of that hockey stick where you are probably now on the up curve and i wish you all the best for that I think the thing is, Rajesh, you have to do your. I mean, Rajesh always says this, right? There is a blend of long term and short term, right? So I don't believe that you only do strategic thinking in the boardroom, right? You day to day, apna kaam karo, day to day, apna targets meet karo. Like my SIP book, we started with an SIP book of six crores. You guys are going to laugh with us. Uh, we are now at hundred crores, and it's just wow. bit by bit ground up work. But then you also get a few opportunities like Bharat Mon, which are game changing. So you apna day to day kaam karte ro. and then you do a few game changing correct. things and it correct. has to be a combination of both correct okay so i want now to come back to straight to uh, a burning issue which a lot of mfds have been thinking about this mfd and ra thing aapka kya opinion hai ye mfd aur ra ye thoda jyada tool le rahi hai ye baatein ya isme kuch merit hai mfd ko kya chinta karni chahiye ki unka business rahega nahi rahega trail khatam ho jayegi kam ho jayegi uh what growth do you see for mfds and uh, what motivational message or what real thoughts you have uh, for an mfd to grow and what he or she should do so i give you again a very straight answer to this question one i think our industry unfortunately is a little bit like bollywood everybody has an opinion on everything whether it is our level of er or whether it is the circular or whether it is mfd versus rif and i would request firstly all of you guys and it's not just about mfd versus ria to spend less time on whatsapp groups and industry debates i have just completely tuned out of them because it, they just don't add as much value as we think we do so that that is point one secondly i think you know we live in a country where people still need advice this is and i don't mean advice in the sebi definition where people need a financial advisor slash mfd aapko se jo bhi ho they need financial help In fact, our brand campaign is very necessary. Our brand campaign. Now, now, I will tell you one thing. I do many sessions. I do, you know, as a public speaker, etc. So, in that, I ask people one question. That you tell me how many people in the mutual fund invest. I ask how many people do you invest in mutual fund. I ask them to raise their hand. Now, what percentage of people do you think actually raise their hands? And I do these sessions, like I did this at Naval War College in Goa, and you know, you do the various corporate. 70% of people say they don't invest in mutual funds okay now what is the primary reason people say ke main mutual fund mein nivesh nahi karta aur ye public speaking ke sessions hai i mean many of them you know so what do you think is the primary reason the primary reason is usually i don't have a trusted advisor this is reality so you are sitting in a country jahan aapke 2 crore mutual fund investors hai and for every investor who is going direct there are a lot of people who need help sometimes i think hum log अपने ही सर्कल में और अपने ही इन दो करोड़ इन्वेस्टर्स के उसमें वी लूज परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द लार्जर अपॉर्चुनिटी जो हमारे पास बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी है हिंदुस्तान में हम उसका वो फोकस कर देते हैं दैट सेड इफ यू हैड टू चूज एंड आस्क मी टुडे बिटवीन एम एफ डी मॉडल एंड आर आई ए मॉडल आई वुड डेफिनेटली से दैट एम एफ डी इज द मॉडल टू गो टूडे आई थिंक द वे अनफॉर्चुनेटली द रेगुलेटर स्ट्रक्चर द आर आई ए मॉडल बड़ा मुश्किल हो जाता है एक आर आई ए बनना and i think again for every customer who is so fee obsessed about direct there are a lot of customers who are very willing to pay an mfd his due fees so that is my point ke aap ek mfd ban ke ek acha business banao aur us opportunity pe focus karo ke logon ko actually advice ki zarurat hai aur sebi last thing i would say is you know there was a lot of hoopla around this name change of mfds I and mean, it's become a very and i think you did a great interview with rupa rajesh on this which i saw Um, yeah. and i want to tell you something about name change i mean shakespeare said what's in a name right a rose by you know the same name is just as sweet i went through this exercise with forefront capital right you sell a company and you get damn emotional about your name and one day all our names changed from forefront alternative equity scheme to edelweiss alternative equity scheme i was a promoter and everybody gets very emotional it doesn't matter 
it matters to us it doesn't matter to your end customer whether you are a mutual fund consultant in independent financial advisor aap kaam acha karo us pe focus karo true very true very true and i think kafi mutual fund distributor ko ek perspective milega aapki baat sun kar ke let me ask you something about bharat bond and i will have this question in two parts my first part is that and you recently said that you know you are doing your routine things and suddenly something big comes up like bharat bond and which happens and which is a game changer kind of thing so uh, uh, you created history uh, uh, are you there radhika i think she has some connectivity issue she is she will join probably rajesh i am there i'm just fixing a connectivity issue but i can hear all right so let me ask i'll be you back this. on video so you created history yes. by launching bharat bonds how is it going do you think etfs are the way forward and if your answer is yes then mfds are concerned about their revenues because they won't make many money in etfs so <laughs> uh, so on one side uh, international markets are promoting etf and we see active management is not able to beat benchmark on the other side if uh, mutual fund distributor starts selling etf they will have to leave this profession because they don't make any money so what is the mix bag how how should an mfd approach etfs and my second question is that does edelweiss make money on bharat bond if not then why did you do it and what is the message to mfds that should they also sell products where they don't get much commission but that can be very interesting for the clients and how it helps Actually- I I actually really like the way Brijesh you framed ये जो आपने question frame किया है बहुत अच्छी तरह frame किया है तो I think पहले तो मैं भारत bond का कुछ बताती हूँ and I will answer and मैं बड़ी सच्चाई से so I think भारत bond was an opportunity where I thought कि हम लोगों का कोई chance ही नहीं है ये bid जीतने का uh, we were competing with four other AMC's who were significantly larger than us two were state owned AMC's in fact hamari presentation mujhe pata hai meri flight us din delhi mein bahut late land hui thi we were the last presentation baki sabki 40 40 minute ki thi hamari 10 minute ki thi and i told my guy my inst sales rep maine kaha hamara chance hi nahi hai isme and we got the mandate so again my first point which i want to reiterate around big aspirations the second thing i would say on this money making thing and the other thing i would say is that we looked at bharat bond as an opportunity now the reality of our industry is that while equity is something where a niche amc and small amc whatever can grow fixed income is a very tough thing to grow it is always a large players game in fact after the recent credit events so it has become so how do you break in aap 50 crore ka fund leke jao log kehte hain bhai yaar hazar crore ka chahiye size chahiye size kaise aayega and we thought of it as that opportunity uh we also thought ki agar passive space mein kuch karna hai and i'll talk about the passive space to ye uske liye ek bahut achhi opportunity ho, ho chuki hai and many of you know that i probably took 50 trips to delhi to work on the design of bharat bond and we spent a lot of time tra- because you know the two government products in the past bharat 22 and cpsc have not been very successful products unlike bharat bond we tried to find and i would tell all mfds a product who solves a customer problem see it is never about passive or active it is about a good product or a bad product acche etfs hote hain bure etfs hote hain acche active fund hote hain bure active fund hote hain ye jo active passive you know these are industry terminologies customer ko kya samajh aata hai customer ko to duration hi nahi samajh aata to we never marketed bharat bond as an etf we marketed it as a product which is like an fd replacement where you can go to bharat bond in see a rate invest easily take out money easily etf was not relevant i'm telling you even if it was an active fund it would be a good product and the fact is 9 months into launch it is a 30000 crore franchise it's actually larger than the entire credit mutual fund industry um so you know i think it's um success is for all to see and you know it's become a brand and i was so happy to see one of our competitor amcs actually launch a similar product i actually want this class of products to go i don't make money on bharat bond i'll be very honest i make money on the fund of fund i don't make money on the etf and we knew we would not make money when we made the bid but i do acquire customers i have probably acquired 1 lakh new customers through bharat bond aapko pata hai online space mein जब एक कस्टमर को अक्वायर करना होता है तो कस्टमर एक्विजिशन कॉस्ट दो तीन हजार रुपए 
पर कस्टमर होती है हमारे लिए तो बहुत सस्ता पड़ा आई बॉट जेपी मॉर्गन म्यूचुअल फंड आई पेड फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एम और समथिंग लाइक दैट टू अक्वायर आई गॉट थर्टी थाउजेंड क्रोर्स ऑफ एम एम ट्वेंटी क्रोर फीस इट्स नॉट अ बैड डील एंड अ लॉट ऑफ दोज कस्टमर्स बाय द वे लेटर कम एंड बाय बैफ और द ग्रेटर चाइना फंड और वन ऑफ आर अदर फंड और आर हेल्थ केयर फंड सो इट वॉज अ कस्टमर एक्विजिशन स्ट्रैटेजी इट वॉज अ ब्रांड बिल्डिंग स्ट्रैटेजी आई टॉक अबाउट ब्रांड वन आई स्पोक अबाउट फोरफ्रंट कैपिटल I mean, how does a small AMC like ours build a brand? Now there are one lakh folios where. So someone was telling me, "Do you know about?" I met someone in Lonavla when I went and traveled. I was like, "You know, uh, do you know about Edelweiss AMC? Are you a customer?" He said, "Everyone is a customer of Edelweiss AMC because you got got Bharat Ford." So now the name is visible in so many folios. You got that many relationships. A lot of our competitors do hoardings and spend more than twenty crores to do hoardings. I think this was a good brand building activity, and I think that's how you have to think about your business. You know, it's not that the AMC can only be Bharat Bond. Look, I have a board. I have to deliver profitability. ऐसे तो ज़िंदगी नहीं चलती. I think of my business in two parts. कुछ ऐसे business हैं जो मैं scale के लिए करूँगी, size के लिए, और उसमें मैं एक पे दो पे नहीं सोचूँगी. मुझे बड़ा बनना है उसमें. और कुछ ऐसे बिजनेस हैं जहां मैं पैसे कमाऊंगी एंड आई थिंक एज एन एम एफ डी ऑल्सो यू हैव टू थिंक हर प्रोडक्ट पे अगर आप क्लाइंट को लेके जाएंगे और आप सोचेंगे मैं पैसे कमाऊंगा देन आई थिंक यू मिस द अपॉर्चुनिटी सो यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस बैलेंस या यू नो एक्चुअली आई आस्क्ड यू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन पर्पस एंड यू आंसर्ड दिस ब्रिलियंटली एंड आई आल्सो वांट टू गिव दिस मैसेज टू एम एफ डीज दैट यू नो यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट द कस्टमर एक बार कस्टमर खुश रहेगा और आपके पास मल्टीपल प्रोडक्ट्स रहेंगे देन विल कम बैक टू अगेन अगेन अगर आप सारा पैसा म्यूचुअल फंड एक्टिव मैनेजमेंट में डालना चाहेंगे और क्लाइंट को आप वो प्रोडक्ट नहीं देंगे जो उसकी डिमांड है नीड है जैसे पीपीएफ है एनपीएस है भारत बॉन्ड है ईटीएफ है सॉवरन गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स है यू नो सो यू आर सम लूजिंग इन द गेम बिकॉज यू आर नॉट एक्वायरिंग मोर कस्टमर्स यू आर नॉट सर्विंग देयर नीड्स पैसे तो बाद में बन जाएंगे सो so, एक मिक्स एंड मिक्स अप्रोच लेके चलना पड़ेगा यू सेल म्यूचुअल फंड एफडी का कस्टमर ब्रिजेश आपका कस्टमर नहीं है क्या आपका चलो भारत बॉन्ड में नहीं डालेगा वो बंदा एफडी में डालेगा उस पे भी तो आप कुछ नहीं कमाते ना या एक्चुअली यू आर नॉट मेकिंग रेकरिंग कमीशन सो सो या सो एट लीस्ट तुम भारत बॉन्ड फंड ऑफ फंड्स में डालोगे मैं एफडी से कहती हूं तुम उसे बाद में स्विच करवा लेना किसी और इक्विटी फंड में राइट Correct, at least correct. he's a mutual fund customer at least he's experienced mutual funds otherwise why fd ka customer bana rahega correct and the way you put it that you know you spend 20 crores to get uh, 30000 crores of assets and a lack customers who are going to be repeat customers and you got a brand building uh, you got into those mfds who never sold at alwais and probably a uh, few hundred or thousand advisors started selling you so all these things are you know side benefits of that exercise and so at some point of time it really works a great deal for the brand so i am convinced on this and this is my passion project i'll tell you two more things which i've probably yeah. never said one i think it will be a 1 lakh crore program so i don't think we've acquired 30000 secondly one third of amc um is focused on a game called liquid fund institution ka paisa aata hai daily in and out hota hai aur hum liquid fund kyun karte hain as an industry size ke liye karte hain मुझे कोई स्ट्रेस नहीं है अपने लिक्विड फंड का कि रोज मेरी टीम जाके फोन करे कॉर्पोरेट को कि जी लिक्विड फंड का पैसा दो साइज इज इम्पोर्टेंट इन आर इंडस्ट्री आई टोल्ड यू इट्स साइज ओरिएंट दिस इज माय वे टू अकॉम्प्लिश साइज एंड आई हैव 25,000 क्रोर्स ऑफ 10 ईयर मनी आई एम द लार्जेस्ट प्रोवाइडर ऑफ टेन ईयर मनी इन दिस कंट्री ब्रिलियंट ब्रिलियंट brilliant so <clears throat> i'm getting very interesting questions so i will have this last question from my side and then i will pick up some of the questions raised by the audience and uh, fortune recently rated you as the top 50 business women and uh, this is the new thing you have already been rated by business uh, uh, magazine uh, how does it feel you know uh, uh, did you expect this how uh, and what is your message to entrepreneurs like you and uh, and uh, how to impact this world in a meaningful way i this is a funny one so i again i've never said this before and i'll tell you about one recent thing that happened yesterday which was funny so i've never said this before but you know when you have these things like bucket lists in life etc and i think many women ceos have this there are all these lists and you you see them you're like chanda kochar is on this list and this one's on this list and whatever is on that list and etc etc i mean there's always a thing here you know one of those bucket list items is okay i'll be on one of these lists so i have to say it felt, felt kind of cool the first time uh 
Yeah, someone just wrote. I was just awarded the top ten global finance writers on LinkedIn, and I was in a list with Raghu Ram Rajan. I was like, okay, I didn't deserve that, but anyway, <laughs> I like to write, <laughs> so that was nice. Um, no, I think what you have to do is just keep work, and I don't think you can plan these things, Bhujesh. I think you just have to keep working. You have to be very, very. So I was thinking about this in the context of this LinkedIn thing that happened yesterday. That like he's Raghu Ram Rajan, and I'm me, right? um and there's a ceo of standard chartered bank and i was like i am just writing my little stories and my little thoughts and you know sometimes i'm writing about bad days and how to handle a bad days and it's a different i was like it's very simplistic versus what that guy is doing i think you have to be authentic and even for mfts you have to do what comes naturally to you i often see people picking up ideas from the us trying to be a copy of this buffet or that buffet etc etc or trying to take notes and copy someone else don't be a copy of someone else na khud ka kaam karo ek original thought process hona chahiye main to mfd se kehti hu ki mc con calls mein mat aao 40 con calls mein hum 40 baar ek hi cheez kahenge have an original point of view and thought process for which you will be known that worked for me so i remember in the early days mint did an interview of mine They were like, आपका कोई एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है आप कैसे काम चलाओगे इस इंडस्ट्री में अब भी वही लोग जाके कहते हैं बिकॉज आपका एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है आपके पास बैगेज नहीं है तो वही चीज लाइबिलिटी लोग एसेट बना लेते हैं तो आई थिंक दैट्स द वे यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट इट बट फाइंड योर ओन स्टाइल एज एन एम एफ डी फाइंड समथिंग दैट वर्क फॉर यू एंड दैट यू स्टैंड आउट फॉर एंड दैट्स हाउ पीपल विल रिकॉग्नाइज यू brilliant uh, i am so thankful to you that you accepted our invitation and you came at master stroke platform and uh, uh, you have enriched a lot of us radhika thank you so much uh, i think that is all from my side but i have lot many questions to ask you from the audience side and i uh, and before i will allow you to to leave the program and uh, uh, one of the questions that has uh, you know attracted my attention and i am uh, asking this question out of turn is that it seems you also sell mutual funds given the amount of time you spent on uh, twitter and uh, writing and uh, uh, and doing other stuffs and traveling so how do you delegate and what is uh, uh, how uh, do you have a to do list no no i'm not as organized as you guys think i mean so in the pre lockdown days because many of you know me mai bahut travel karti thi do teen din branchon mein ghumti thi bahut sare events hote the lockdown mein fortunately time mil gaya there is a myth about twitter i don't use twitter to sell mutual funds i use twitter to write kyunki likhne ka mujhe shauk hai abhi kuch logon ko sports khelne ka shauk hota hai kuch logon ko dance karne ka shauk hai to mujhe 4 saal ki umar se likhne ka shauk hai by chance i don't have time to write a full form book to main twitter pe likhti rehti hu i also find in people write very negative things about social media i encourage all of you to use social media very effectively um to build out your own brand as mfts aap kafi kuch kar sakte hain you know ek zamane mein brijesh मार्केटिंग के लिए आपको बड़ा बजट चाहिए होता था बड़ी बड़ी एजेंसीज चाहिए होती है अब तो आप अपने कंटेंट के पावर से वायरल हो सकते हैं बिना कॉस्ट पे इन दैट सेंस मार्केटिंग हैज बिकम डेमोक्रेटाइज बिकॉज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया अब आप उसको ना यूज करें तो आपकी बेवकूफी है पांच परसेंट लोग आपको जाके ट्रोल करेंगे वो तो वैसे भी कोई मामा चाचा आपको रियल लाइफ में भी ट्रोल करता है राइट बट many of the things that i've been able to do and many of the most cool people in the world i've been able to meet have been because of twitter so you're not using twitter and linkedin effectively you're just missing out on one tool and yes it also leads to a lot of great things but i actually don't spend that much time probably 10 minutes a day wonderful venkat is asking what is your biggest motivation in life ah uh, to these days it is it's a very nice question it's to influence people positively and i get the nicest letters yaar you know i do these talks and stuff and i get letters especially from a lot of young women and a lot of fathers of young women and i think that's that's very impactful it's very very nice all right gurmeet ahuja is asking what's your single biggest challenge that you have overcome in your career i mean there's a constant set but i i always think converting a customer and you all are mfd so you know it i always think getting a customer to trust you is the biggest challenge in the financial services profession i think that is the single biggest uh, challenge because ultimately hum log logon ka paisa manage kar rahe hain and people are handing over hard earned money financial services ultimately a trust ka business hai so you know on a related note log mere se kehte hain what's the biggest compliment that you've ever gotten and i always say there are two one is that i trust you 
I trust you as I think the biggest compliment you can get as a professional in this business. And dusra, you know, people say I want my child to be like you. I think in those se bade koi life me compliment nahi ho sakte. But to get a customer to sign up because I've gone through it in the forefront days na, 25-25 lakh ek khatta karna. Me abhi tak redemption pe na irritate ho jao. We get this MIS and whenever I see redemptions, I get upset. And my team is like, why are you getting upset with redemptions? Maine kaha yar, mujhe un dinon ki yaad aati hai. So I think that's always the biggest challenge. पहले उन्होंने इन्फोसिस में बहुत अच्छा काम किया एज ए लीडर और फिर उन्होंने आधार में यू नो ही वेंट एंड बिल्ड ही गिविंग बैक टाइम and that's something i would love to see myself too hari prashad is asking, role model okay. hari prashad is asking how do you overcome objections from customers you must be meeting large institutions corporates and they must be at times putting you in the same basket as uh, other amcs with yeah, yeah. a 20 year uh, track record or blah 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 so of course we all deal with objections and certain customers are tough so he is asking a very interesting question how do you deal with objection and how do you convert them so i think this is a fabulous question and you know for us it comes at a point when i again i'll be very honest last two years have been great for advise amc but parent company ke liye koi bahut acche saal nahi rahe hain and the kind of nonsense that we have had to deal with because of our parent company and the kind of calls and allegations i mean once there was a corporate who called me and asked me i heard tumhe salary nahi mil rahi hai isme yaar is like kal to aayega yaar bank account mein pay slip dikha do so this is the kind of nonsense we've had to deal in fact when we did our last connect series before the lockdown it embarrassed me but i had to do this in front of mfds i had to start with a 10 minute explanation that nothing is wrong in my parent company so i think it's been a trial by fire for us in that sense i try to figure out one thing with the objection is the objection a logical one or is it an is it an objection or is it an allegation if it is an allegation like the kind of nonsense i have heard about my parent company i can give you data but beyond that point i leave it and i say ki theek hai aaj nahi aoge na to theek hai you know i mean log saath chalenge karwa banta chalega kuch log baad mein aayenge that's okay if it is a logical observer uh, thing then we try to reason through it with a lot of data i also don't try to push customers beyond a point in time arm them with all the data i am not a very very pushy sales person in fact i think i'm a very bad bad sales person uh, but i never try to push someone who's uncomfortable yeah soch samajh ke aayega na to uske experience hamare sath better rahega but i always try to figure out ki objection or allegation mein kitna farak hai because allegations can't be countered logically और हमारी इंडस्ट्री में बहुत एलिगेशन होते हैं अच्छा पैसे तो कभी चलेगा ही नहीं ये फंड मैनेजर तो कभी परफॉर्म ही नहीं करेगा एडल वाइज को तो पैसे ही नहीं मैनेज करने आते दिस ऑल दैट काइंड ऑफ नॉनसेंस दैट हैपेंस देन आई मीन यू आर गेटिंग इमोशनल देन आई डोंट एंड आई वुड एनकरेज यू टू डू दैट टू ऑलराइट सो मेनी क्वेश्चन आई आई जस्ट हैव टू पिक एंड चूज एंड सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू आस्क सो प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी द ऑडियंस Priya is asking that she recently mentioned about you in one of her interviews so much so that they advised her to work with you do you have any suggestion how to join your workforce uh, please apply uh, thank you so much priya thank you really 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 appreciate it um you can always apply i do say that we i get lots of job requests these days we hire very very selectively one of the other beliefs i have is that um you know amcs have always run very large cost structures and very large and i'm being very honest large branches etc in the digital age i don't think i want to spend lots of money hiring lots of people in fact i think as your revenues come down and our revenues come down kyunki ye bhi reality hai unspoken reality hai we also have to be a lot more conscientious so i am actually a hawk on cost it's a joke in my system i mean radhika say i'm very very sharp on that and that's another thing i would encourage mfds to do so we hire very very rarely but please apply stay in touch and you know if there's an opportunity we get in touch uh, the power of persistence is amazing i mean some people i've hired just because they've been in touch with me for a long time 
Priya, I have a suggestion for you. When you apply, do mark the envelope to Radhika Gupta and mention about this uh, <laughs> event and yes. then about the same uh, lines, maybe you will get some preference. Okay, Suresh Gawade is asking, uh -huh. Edelweiss AMC is not reaching out to small MFDs. That's why in India, Edelweiss is not as popular in small cities. I think you should do something about this. This is what he's asking. Great question, Suresh. And I think it's a journey. Uh, you know, we started with five branches. We are now present in 23 locations. We want to do more and more. And I don't know what small cities means because everybody has a diff different definition. Small city, kya hoti hai. But we are trying to do more and more. Just pehli baar after Bharat Bond Balanced Advantage category, which is one of our more popular funds, we have TV pe ad kiya hai because we know one. And I'll be very frank. I know it is harder to sell an Edelweiss branded mutual fund than an HDFC branded mutual fund. This reality of life. Hai. For an IFA, despite the best thing, MFD's best intention, wo customer so we did this TV campaign. This time we put 15 billboards, uh, billboards in 15 small cities. We didn't do it in any of the big cities. We did it in all the smaller cities that we are present in. We are trying to work now with regional newspapers in small cities. So this strategy will evolve. I don't think we'll get it right in one go. Lekin shuruat to humne ki. Another question is that, uh, again on the to-do list, how do you tackle priorities? Because MFDs don't get it right. They do many stuff, but probably the priority is messed up. Oh, How you have you to learn to say you, And I'm not great at this. You have to learn to say no, right? I think, again, you have to divide your work into BAU work, which is Rose ka apko jo kaam karna hai, client ko service karna hai, funds dikhane hai, asset allocation karni hai, and maybe one or two projects that you will take on for the quarter that will occupy your mind because usse zada aapka mind wo nahi karta and break them that way. Otherwise, aap kush nahi kar paoge. And as I said, one thing that really helps in our industry is staying out of industry discussions. All right, so I have two, uh, and one of the things Masterstroke does is that, you know, uh, we're lucky to have a lot of, uh, you know, women entrepreneurs, uh, MFDs joining our sessions and our members. And we have two questions, one from Vaishali and one from Kayati. Vaishali is asking, I'm merging both the questions together. Vaishali is asking, ma'am, do you mentor women MFD? If so, how do we approach you? And Kayati is asking, ma'am, do you, you are a lady and uh, as well as a professional. You have, there are other responsibilities. How do you handle both of them? Okay, so the first one, I'm happy to, all MFDs are uh, clients, friends. So I'm happy to talk to any MFD, man or woman. The way to approach me is to write me an email or, you know, Brijesh has my number. So I'm very easy. I do think in our fraternity, mein Lady IF is very low. So I would be very happy to see more of you grow. So if there's anything I can do, please write to me in the time I have. I'll try and do the best. As far as this work-life stuff, don't be so harsh on yourself in life. Okay? You have other responsibilities. You have this. In life, there's no balance every time. There's no perfection every time. Sometimes you're in a little bit in the house, sometimes you're in the office. I always say that balance is a notion of stupid. You try to find harmony in life. Sometimes it, like when Bharat Bond was happening, 90% of my life was consumed by work. Now I'm sitting in Delhi at my parents' house. I work a little less for the two weeks. It's okay, right? So why do you have to be perfect? I mean, sitting on a seesaw thinking, I'm going to be perfect, I'm going to be perfect. Leave it, man. Genuinely. Don't be so harsh on yourself. Very nice, very nice. Uh, and you know, incidentally, um, uh, you know, Radhika, yesterday night, I was watching this Tony Robbins, I Am Not Your Guru, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a documentary of an hour and a half on Netflix. And I couldn't finish it, but one of the things he says to one of the, you know, uh, audience member that uh, don't judge yourself on the last one year. Don't judge yourself on what you have achieved. And you are quite young to judge yourself on the basis of what others have achieved. We generally... So over bit, British like mutual funds, right? I mean, in that sense, life and mutual funds are very similar. If you look at performance or markets or anything over one year, or if you look at your life on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll be like, yaar, kitna chaos hai, fight hoti hai, job mein problem hai, boss kharaab hai, computer nahi chalta. 
But if you look at markets over five, seven years, it doesn't feel that volatile. And if you look at your life over five, seven years, most of us feel, yeah, kitni tarakki kar li previous generations se kitni tarakki kar li. Yeah. I've come so far. I'm proud of myself. So time reduces volatility. I think in investing in life, both. Yeah, and so he says that you know you should think about one decade and two decade down the line what you can become rather than you know judge yourself and think about all the life chaos every day. This is exactly what you're saying. So uh, Ranjit is asking: at one time, price to earning ratio was the guiding factor for caution to buy or sell, but it has beaten all records. The current bull run and fund managers are clueless. What is that advice to you? Okay, so I I love this question. Thanks, Ranjit. There is a myth in India that P ratio and you know my favorite category of fund is balanced advantage fund, right? So there is a myth in India that the only way to do market timing is this P ratio because it sounds very good by low sell high. I think it's one metric. It is not the only metric. Markets can remain expensive much longer than we expect. In fact, this is not promotional, but many people know that. we run by for the totally opposite philosophy kind of for this reason so i think price to earnings no single metric is the only right answer i think that's very important and especially at a time when interest rates are zero all right so i mean uh, 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 okay so another question which is coming is that i am a budding mutual fund distributor hmm. what is one single risk factor for me to consider mutual fund distribution as my main business uh for the next 10 15 years uh, what is something which i'm missing out which can uh, uh which can hurt me to take this business as my main business so the you probably you... think you probably think the biggest risk factor is regulatory volatility i think it's your ability your own volatility i think it's your ability to stay in this business because in the first 2 3 years it's going to be damn tough to build up a book you won't have serious revenue you will need to give this business time and if you abandon it too early that's the biggest risk the other big risk is to become a me too guy and not identify a client segment sharply you know find a client segment and deliver excellence and that don't become a copy of the so many other mutual fund distributors see when you are a new person nobody comes to an edelweiss mutual fund for something they can buy from an icici or sbi or hdfc mutual fund they need to see something different in edelweiss mutual fund reality of the matter nobody is going to buy nobody is going to buy edelweiss liquid fund as their first product from us chance nahi hai you will buy baf you will buy bharat bond you will buy greater china fund kuch aisa khareedoge baad mein liquid fund le loge so start by carving a niche that is different from everyone else that's the second biggest risk in your business all right so i will request my audience to please uh, give your feedback and let radhika know about this uh, uh, webinar and uh, uh, do uh, also uh, appreciate radhika's uh, time to come and uh, talk to us about this radhika one final question maybe you know uh, a couple of books you will uh, recommend to the to our audience Okay I am a big reader but I am a huge fiction reader so I actually don't read much of the self help kind of stuff there's a really good book that Rashesh recommended to me which you might like it's called a piece of the action it's about the mutual fund movement in the US of the 1980s and there's a second book which I have done sessions on which is very practical for clients called nudge uh, it's by Richard Taylor it yes. gives you very practical tips that you can actually and I do do sessions on this that you can use uh to be more effective in terms of customer behavior and the third which is a very rare book it's called five paths to persuasion it's about how each individual in the world has one of five different personalities whether it's like rashesh or richard branson or like bill clinton and how you can change your pitch to influence five personalities very differently it's a super book nudge i have written the third one i have noted down which was the first one the piece a piece of the action a piece of the action three books wonderful yeah a piece of the action five paths to persuasion and nudge five paths is a must for someone in the sales business i've started using it and i change my presentations depending on who i'm talking to now wonderful uh, uh wonderful and i think that's all we have for you radhika i requested an hour of you uh, yours and uh, we are almost getting that time and i have been able to take a lot of questions apart from the questions that i wanted to ask you thank you so much for being on master stroke we are now a very strong community of more than 1700 members and we have 7000 registered members on our website and um, 
a lot of participants are coming on to our website and we are doing a lot of good stuff. We are growing and a lot of people are using Masterstroke Creatives as well as the calculators uh, to grow their business. And recently one of our members called up and said that the first time he ever got a check of 30 lakhs using our SWP rebalance calculator. So, uh, oh, very good. Yeah, so I think Brijesh, I must compliment you on the excellent action, you know, work you're doing. I said this at MFRT a few years ago that there needs to be an Amul movement for MFRTs. You are much stronger when you are a community rather than an individual. And I think, you know, you'll never see this in the organized sector community where you have events like this. But I think when an IFA like you does well, he lifts up so many other IFAs. It's very powerful. Yeah, thank you so much. MFRT, thank you. Sorry. That's, that's I still the... use the old terminology. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So we are all doing it together. And I think, you know, we just have to, you know, and one of the thoughts that I have is that, you know, uh, if somebody is helping you out in this life, please help someone else. There's no need to pay back. And I think uh, that way the world becomes a better place. And with this thought, I will uh, say thank you again to Radhika. All the very best to you for your career and life ahead and uh, grow adult wise and uh, be a part of SEBI one day and make this profession much more rewarding. than. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Uh, for all of us to move ahead in life. So thank you so much. I will request my audience to stay uh, back uh, for a couple of uh, uh, live demonstration on SWP cal calculators. And Radhika, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. For thank you. Me.